like I'll never forget playing Columbus, Ohio at a place called the Tree Bar. I'll never forget it. And <laughs> we book this show, show up to the venue, find out that the booking agent for the show got fired. No one knew we had a show. Great start. Um, and I think this person also had a show there. So she basically was like, oh, man, I'll get it together, whatever. And I'm like, okay. Get the show together. It's like a five-band bill. Yes. And we also have to run our own sound, which is great. To Every a, band a mixer loves to run their own sound. zip-tied to the wall <laughs> yes, behind us. absolutely. <laughs> so um, it's a five-band bill. Nobody shows up. We play. None of the bands are even in the room. We're playing to, like, one polyamorous couple <laughs> in the corner, you know, uh, like, trying to grow their Chia Pet or whatever they're doing. Um, and I was, like, pissed because it's, like, there's there, it's there's common courtesy yeah. when you're playing a show. It's, like, if there's not a ton, at least watch some of it. I'm not expecting you to stay out there. Yeah. At least watch some of it because what pisses me off the most is when I don't see you in there and then after the show, hey, man, yes. you guys are so great. Oh. Great set. Fuck you. Don't even talk to me if That's you haven't right. watched it. 100%. Just, it'd be nice. I would rather, yes, I would rather you, yeah, just don't even say anything to me. Just I say, I really needed a cigarette. Yep. I'd Great. be fine. And I'm like, no, a cigar, dude. I'm playing 45 minutes, okay? <laughs> Jeez. Um, but yeah, the show's over. We play with this band, Lazy Ass Destroyer. This is this band. Calling They're the closing. Out. They're the closer. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> They're the closer, dude. Two guys in the band. One guy's named Lazy D. The other guy's name's Krusty. Okay? Lazy D looks like... <laughs> you still got the photo? Oh, yeah. I have the photo ready to go. <laughs> Lazy D looks like Francine from Arthur. And he plays an, he plays an, Air, uh, or an iPad, iPod. He just hits play and he's rapping. And then Krusty has his shirt off. Butt crack hanging out and an executor, uh, executioner's mask on. Okay, they play like this limb biscuit at one of what it was. It was terrible. I took that photo at one twenty one a.m. Yes, yes, <laughs> terrible. <laughs> they end up they're done, and I'm just like, I want to go home. This is awful. But then I notice that these people are drinking excessively. Oh yeah, Pissed and drunk. I go up to them and I'm like, hey. How are you guys getting home? Oh, we're going to drive home soon. And if you know me, I'm not. And generally speaking, I'm a fairly passive person. I don't like conflict. But I have a problem when people are fucking stupid <laughs> and drive drunk. Okay? Huge problem. So me being non-confrontational starts to be like, hey, well, why don't we call you a cab or this? They start like we go start going back and forth, and it's getting heated. And then I, I remember this guy. She's like, "Dude, what's your problem? Did you have some family member die in uh, from a drunk driver?" And I'm like, first of all, fuck you. Second of all, kind of because um, yeah. I remember I think my sister just got hit by a drunk driver like not that long ago. Anyway, like I'm and I, I start going around to all these other bands. I'm like, "Hey, do you know them? Can we help?" And we're from out of town. And nobody, like, this is the problem with musicians, dude. They're so passive, and they're all, like, live your truth and stuff. And it's so fucking annoying <laughs> that nobody else said anything no. except me and 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 the other boys. I was rooting for him. I was throwing the keys at him. Yeah, I know. I know. Scott, <laughs> the scooter was just like, yeah, come on, drive. You I was know? like, give this king and his then keys. And it then gets, it gets all heated. Um, and then this poor bartender, dude, she's there by herself. Oh, I remember her, yeah. And she's just like, these these three guys are like about to get in a fight and she's like you just got got to go so we got kicked out of the bar and then we just called the cops and like let them know about this they probably didn't do anything cuz they were probably like you know drinking on the job yeah, too yeah they're probably you know <laughs> patrolling a black neighborhood you know um for the 12th time and then i remember we went to a waffle house and we spent all of our money at waffle house yeah uh, we got well i got we all got the all-star combo and i think we left her like a 50 dollar tip or something like that 